Hey what's up guys this is 3D Bonfire back with another amazing tutorial and this time I just want to create some delicious cakes and cookies and snacks with rigid bodies and the cloner system in Cinema 4D 2024 but first I have to admit that this simulation here wasn't done natively in Cinema 4D but I used from Insidium the GPU accelerated particle engine with a fluid solver to get that beautiful granular behavior so sadly you can't do the simulation part natively in Cinema 4D but at least we can try to create a similar aesthetic like this one just with the native toolkit in Cinema 4D 2024, right? And just to let you know, if you want to know how to simulate this one with Insidium Nexus, then there will be a tutorial today on my Patreon in part two, which will be out next week on my Patreon. We make it beautiful. We go through different styles and stuff like that. So if you want to learn more of the good stuff about Cinema 4D, rigid bodies, soft bodies, all of the good stuff, and also Nexus Insidium stuff, then you can check out my Patreon. But other than that, today let's focus on this nutrition pyramid here on YouTube, where we just try to replicate this beautiful, tasty aesthetic here of these granular, tasty snacks. Okay, so for example, this one comes with some strawberry chocolate mixture, and the logo is made out of white chocolate, so super tasteful and really healthy. So in the nutrition pyramid, this one is on top. Then on the next stage, this combination of like caramel and chocolate so this one is also pretty tasty we have another version here with some wild berry jelly stuff at the inside but outside you get that orange flavor so also pretty delicious this one is more artistic i don't know the flavor of this one but uh, yeah <laughs> let's go on here this one high calorie stuff so this one is at the bottom of the nutrition pyramid but still pretty pretty delicious by the way you can also go a little bit more artistic with this topic and create something like strange jewelry like this one so pretty shiny and then i have these combinations here this one is with coconut and strawberry again and i don't really know the taste of this one all right so this is what i can tell you about the nutrition pyramid but now let's dive into cinema 4d and try to replicate that beautiful granular nexus aesthetic with cinema 4d and natively so let's jump into cinema 4d and have some fun all right finally in cinema 4d and maybe we just want to start with a simple cake shape here so I put this one to maybe 300 by 600 something like this one and yes this is like a huge cake okay so I don't care so much about uh, realistic scaling here like this is uh, like a really big cake but we don't care about it all right so let me just put this one to some round nice shape here now I want to extrude this one so let's just see maybe this one could be 150 something like this one that could be a nice shape here and then when you want to put your logo on top of it then you could go to just f1 to the top view maybe just scale this one down a little bit so it will fit beautiful on your cake okay something like this one and then yeah you can just put it onto it of course now the shape is pretty ugly so let's press nb to see the shape i think i want to go inside of it and put this one to one so this is a little bit more round press c to make it editable get rid of all of these tags i just want to make the top piece more round therefore I press UL to make a loop selection here MS to bevel this one just click and drag and maybe do it like this for example okay so this is already more pleasing to the eye you can also put like a little biscuit color on it so this already looks more tasteful you can also put something like that on your logo here maybe this one comes with some caramel or white chocolate flavor here something like this one okay we are getting there that already looks more tasty to me now we want to create some little chocolate nuggets here on the surface therefore we just need to do some simple modeling here nb to see the lines i want to set this one to hexahedron for example 32 i think that's okay but i want to just go up to 40 make this one smaller put this one to 10 or even to 5 na to get rid of the lines now i just want to put the displacer as a child of this sphere let's go into the displacer go to shape shading set this one to noise and now you can see you get some strange nuggets here put this one to five or four something like this one all right i already think that this one is a friendly nice shape i want to duplicate this one move it over there let's once again go into the 
noise here and maybe just play with the random seed here. Maybe we want another nugget that is looking like this one. All right, that's beautiful. Let's move it over here one more time. And maybe for this one, we just want to try out a different noise. For example, Voronoi 1. And now you can see that this one looks horrible. Therefore, you just go into it, put this one to 3, for example, go into the noise, put this one to 200 or maybe 150. All right, you can see some ugly edges there. So therefore, we just put this one to 40 or 120 to just get more beautiful lines here. I like it. Let's go into it once again and let's try out some different seeds. I already like this seed that looks beautiful. Now I will just go into it, connect and delete all of them. And now you can see that these ones are far away from being optimized. So if you want to just optimize your system a little bit, you can do it. For example, this one is pretty dense. So and therefore you can just put in a remesher. Let's do it like this. Put this one to 20, for example. Now you get way less polygons here. Put this one even to 15, something like this one. Press C to make this one editable. Now all of them are still a bit dense, but I think that's totally fine for the new rich body simulation engine. So now I think we just move all of these little chocolate nuggets into a cloner, put it into the cloner. We don't want to create a grid here, but we want to clone these ones on the surface of our cake here. And therefore, you can also call this one cake, put the cake into the object here. And now you can see we get these little nuggets, these little chocolate pieces on the surface of our cake. We want to also switch this one to multi instance so we can just simulate way faster. You can put this one to a thousand, for example, just for the start. And maybe something that we can also do to animate this logo coming up and pushing these chocolate nuggets to the side. Therefore, you would just go to frame zero, go into coordinates, make some keyframes here, go over to maybe 30. And then you can just move this one up a little bit. Let's do it like this. Create some keyframes there. Let's check the animation. All right, that's beautiful. And now we are already on the rigid body part. So let's right click on our cloner, put a rigid body tag on this one, go to your cake and put a collider tag on the cake. And let me think about it. The logo, of course, also needs to have a collider tag on it. Press Control D to go into the world settings. We want to get rid of the gravity here so your particles will not fall down. And I think also we need to go into the rigid body tag into forces and play a little bit with the follow position and rotation. But before we do that, let's just simulate this one time and you can see that we get some rigid body behavior here because at the beginning they are intersecting with your cake and therefore they will just fly away into infinity. If you want to prevent this one, you can just give this one like a value of two by two and let's just double check this. All right, so they would be pushed outwards but they will stick to the surface more or less. Okay, I can see there is some safety margin between them. Therefore, just go into the collision tab here and put this one to 0 0.1, for example. Let's double check this one. Now they are pretty close to the surface. I like that. That's really nice. And maybe we want to just duplicate these ones. All right, press T to scale them up. So we got some of them which are a bit bigger. So we have some natural variation in it. Of course, you can also do that when you just go into the tab here for the MoGraph effectors and put the random effector in it, go into it, deactivate position, activate scaling, uniform scaling 0.2, for example. Now we have all kinds of different sized nuggets here. That's beautiful. I really like it. And I think I just want to go to my logo and just animate this one just a little bit more up to an area around here. Let's double check this one. What do we have so far? All right, so that's kind of funny. I like it. Maybe we want to now give our particles some different colors before we just massively increase the particle amount. And therefore we need another effector here. Go into effector plane. And with this one, maybe we want to go into the fields, create a linear field. And you can see this one is already giving us some, some color variation. We just need to move this one to 90 degrees and do something like this one. Let's make it a bit smaller here. And now you've got some blueberry taste on the top and some coconut flavor down here. So you can do that, but you could also set this one to a gradient and put this one to some dark chocolate down there. I mean, that's a bit too dark for my taste. Let's just put it to a brown color like this one. Okay. And then at the top, maybe we want to have some strawberry flavor here. So you could do it like this, for example. 
to get different colored particles on your cake. So what can we do next? I think we want to delete these particles which are laying on the logo. All right, so therefore I think we can just use another plane effector here. And this time we want to set a uniform scale to minus one. Now all of them should be invisible, but because this is not happening, that is telling me that the effector is not in the effectors list. So just put it here. All right, now all of them are invisible, but we want to restrict this effect to only particles which are touching the logo and therefore you can go over to fields and I guess you can just put the logo inside of it. Now you can see a little bit of the effect is happening here but it's just 50% working okay. So let's just go into this logo field here and let's just try to play with this one. You can see something is happening here but I think that's not so good so maybe we need to go to surface. Let's double check this one. Maybe when we set this one to inside then it looks like now we can select the proper particles here now you can just put this one up to 300 for example and now you can get rid of all of these particles I mean almost so maybe we need to put this one to 500 or put it to 1500 now it should be gone okay that's nice so overall this is already like a nice cake here I just want to go inside of my logo I want to turn this one more into like a milky cream and do it like this okay so that's better and now I think we can also add a lot more particles here so go back to frame zero put this one to maybe 10,000 or even 20,000 okay that's a lot of collisions here but without even optimizing anything here I think we can still just click on calculation here now you have to wait for a couple of seconds for the initial step until the simulation will start but now you can see already all of these particles will be pushed to the side now our milky delicious logo will move through it that's really beautiful and now we can just pause this one here and you will have like a really delicious cake which comes with strawberry chocolate and some milk flavor for your logo and you can see we got pretty close to my design that I did with the Insidium Nexus particle engine and um, yeah so I hope you had fun with this one just be sure if you want to go through the simulation and do something which is so much fun like this one then check out my patreon but other than that thank you so much for your time have fun with your cakes and cookies see you next time bye everyone